This is question number five on the higher non-calculator paper. The question says, work out an estimate for, so this is this requires you to do estimation and work out an estimate for this answer. Now this is a pretty standard type question. The first thing you have to do in any question of this type is all the numbers, round them to one significant figure. That means it's just one number and everything else is zeros right but it needs to represent the size of that number so 31 I'm going to rewrite that as 30 okay so that's pretty straightforward it's just one number everything else zeros times 9.87 now that could be written as 10 yeah so one number everything else zeros 9.87 to one significant figure is 10 and this one at the bottom here to one significant figure again ignore the zeros at the beginning Right, so when you're doing significant figures, you ignore any zeros at the start, so that's going to be 0 0.5. Now, as I work that out, 3 times 10 is 300. 300 divided by 0 0.5. Now, in looking at this, I'm dividing by 0 0.5. Now, a lot of people would look at this and think 300 divided by 0 0.5 is 150. Well, it's not. Yeah, 300 divided by 2 is 150 okay so think carefully as you do this 300 divided by 0 0.5 when you're dividing by 0 0.5 you effectively double in the number so 300 divided by 0 0.5 is 600 yep and that is my answer for this question and this is a pretty straightforward question but they like putting decimals at the bottom especially 0 0.5 especially things like 0.1. So when you divide by 0 0.5, that's like times in by 2. When you divide by 0, 0 0.1, that's like times in by 10. When you divide by 0 0.2, that's like times in by 5. Make sure you understand that and make sure you're actually prepared for that in any question that comes up in the exam. Go over this a couple of times, make sure you understand it fully and are able to get full marks.